For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Dexter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this problem that says determine the magnitude of the couple forces F so that the resultant couple moment on the crank is zero. Now, the easiest way to do this problem is to just divide everything into X and Y components. So this 150 has Y component this way, X component this way. This force right here has a Y component going up, X component going to the right. This one has a Y component going this way, X component going that way. And this 150 over here has a Y component going this way, X component going that way. Now, this force right here is 150 cosine of 30. This force right here is 150 sine of 30. Uh, this force right here is F sine of 30. And notice that this force is acting right here. And this force right here is F cosine of 30. And again, this force is also acting right here. Now this F right here, remember, is acting right here. And it's just the opposite of this one. This one is F cosine of 30. And this one is F sine of 30. And this one going up is 150 sine of 30. And the one going to the right is 150 cosine of 30. Now that you have all those forces, all you got to do is sum all the moments at O. I'm calling this point right here. O. And the sum of the moments at O is equal to zero. They're telling you that the coupled moment on the crank is zero. So knowing that, let's do the moment. So the moment created by this force in, in at O is 150 cosine of 30 times the arm, which will be this sum right here. So it will be this distance right here. And the distance is equal to 10 inches. Remember we're in inches. Sine of 45. 45 this angle right here. And let's assume counterclockwise is positive. And that creates a counterclockwise moment. So we got that. The moment created by this force right here is also positive because it's kind of clockwise is 150 sine of 30 times 10 cosine of 45 which is this lever arm right here the next moment is the moment created by this force which is going this way right here so it's turning the lever arm that goes from here to here and that is negative because it makes a clockwise moment F sine of 30 times the length of the lever arm which is 5 sine of 45 then the moment created by this force which is also a clockwise moment so it's negative and it's turning this lever arm right here because remember it acts right here and that will be minus F cosine of 30 times 5 cosine of 45 let me keep going now I'm gonna do the forces on the right hand side the moments that they create so the moment created by this F sine of 30 is plus F sine of 30 times 4 sine of 45 because this F sine of 30 is going to the left at this point right here so it's turning the lever arm that goes from here to O and minus because this one creates a clockwise moment we did this one already so this one is F cosine of 30 times 4 cosine of 45 because it's turning the lever arm that goes from here to here and the last two forces are these two so first I'm gonna do this one creates a counterclockwise moment so it's positive 
it's a 150 that's a 150 sine of 30 times the length of the lever arm this one right here from the X to this one and it's 8 cosine of 45 this 45 right here and the last one is negative because this one creates a clockwise moment and it's 150 cosine of 30 times 8 sine of 45 because this is lever arm that goes from here all the way to the X so now that you have all your uh, moments being created as you can see some of them have uh, F as the only variable and you know that everything's equal to zero we got zero on this side so all you got to do is just add these together and then add these together the ones that have the F plug them into your calculator make sure that we didn't make no mistakes and you're gonna get that zero is equal to 1138.3 minus F times 5.86 and some basic algebra to solve for F would give you that F is equal to 194 notice the unit is in inch pounds why inch pounds because remember the distances are in inches so if you wanted to convert it to foot pounds you have to convert inch to to feet and remember there's 12 inches in a feet so in a foot so if you wanted to do that you can go ahead and do it but i'm going to leave the answer in inch pounds 194 inch pounds final answer please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help thank you